This video is to go through how to set up allergens on your GoodTill account. This is in preparation for Natasha's Law which comes into effect from October. Natasha's Law requires food businesses to provide full ingredient lists and allergen labelling on foods pre-packaged for direct sale on the premises. These changes will apply to businesses in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. For this, GoodTill has created the ability to assign allergens to your ingredients. Firstly, we'll need to go to Ingredients along the left-hand side here. If you don't see the section, you'll need to enable it by going to Setup, F&B Settings, tick Control Ingredients and then press Save Settings. You'll then need to refresh the whole page in order to see the section called Ingredients along the left-hand side. And if we go to Ingredient List, you'll see here the option to review the allergen information across your ingredients. If we click on Allergen Overview, it will allow us to easily see the ingredients that we haven't reviewed, any ingredients without allergens, and any ingredients containing allergens. To make bulk changes, we can press Update here. This will give us a list of the ingredients and columns for the allergens. You simply need to tick the allergens for each ingredient. If there are no allergens, then you just need to tick the no allergen box. If you do this, the system will then not allow you to tick any of the allergens. Similarly, if you've ticked allergens for an ingredient, you then won't be able to tick no allergen. You'll need to untick all the allergens first. Like so. Once you're ready, you can press save up here and then you can go back at any time to update. If we go back to the ingredient list, you'll then again be able to see all of your ingredients and now a column especially for allergens. If we click on the allergens, we can now easily see the allergens inside that ingredient. If we need to make specific changes to an ingredient, we can edit it like normal with the little pencil button here. Scroll down to see this allergen information section and then tick any allergens that might be in that ingredient. Don't forget to press submit here to save your changes. Then just ensure that your ingredients are linked to the correct products by clicking on the ingredient and linking it to the correct product. For more information on this, please have a look at our support article.